This morning's Mass is being offered by Father David for the intention of Astrick Chan. Father Donald at the Missionaries of Charity Convent offered the Mass for the repose of the soul of Christina Nera. And I will be offering this Holy Mass for the intentions and the family of Daisy Thompson. Let us call to mind all of our intentions for this Holy Mass as we offer them to God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made the mother of your Son to be our mother and our queen, graciously grant that sustained by her intercession we may all attain in the heavenly kingdom the glory promised to your children through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as men make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of the taskmaster, you have smashed, as on the day of Median. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us, upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful from David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. 
above the heavens is his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and on the earth below. Blessed is be the name of the Lord forever. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the downhill, he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Alleluia. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. In Pope Pius XII's encyclical on the Blessed Virgin Mary's queenship, Ad Celi Reginam, he meticulously goes through and shows all the scriptural and what the church fathers have said. He goes into what church architecture has declared about Mary all throughout history. And it is a very good treatment on how to understand this particular feast day, Mary as queen of heaven and earth. Now, if you're not inclined to read the encyclicals of popes, may I, may I recommend another book to you that also goes into a great uh, discourse and treatment on the Blessed Virgin Mary, not only of her, um, of her queenship, but of all these 
different titles and understandings, scriptural and historic tradition of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It's a book by Brant Petrie, and it's called Jesus and the, uh, and the Jewish Roots of Mary. Jesus and the Jewish Roots of Mary. And I think you can get this book very inexpensively. Last year before COVID, um, we had, I had read it twice, and I talked so much about it in my homilies that a group of people came up to me and said, we need to have a, a study group over this book. So we organized a group of, uh, of people who met every Tuesday, and we studied that book chapter by chapter by chapter. And I believe we got through the book, did we not? Yeah. So it was a, a great study, a very interesting um, and very accessible uh, understanding of the Blessed Virgin Mary written by Brant Petrie. So if you go to Amazon, you don't have to go to Amazon right now, but you can go to Amazon and you can order the book or you can go to Brant Petrie's website and get the book. And it's a, a, a fantastic read. Anyway, as I was praying this morning, I thought, gosh, you know, I've given so many homilies on the Blessed Virgin Mary. One of my favorites is, is an actual reflection that I had when I was kind of grappling with my own vocation to the priesthood. I was really worried that I would not be able to do what our Lord was asking me to do in the priesthood, and it was putting a lot of doubt in my mind. Of course, that's the enemy. That's how he works, right? planting the seeds of doubt and then letting that seed grow like a weed in our hearts. Well, I prayed to the Blessed Virgin Mary and I found myself sitting in her house. Have you ever prayed about Mary sitting in her house? It was magnificent. The angel Gabriel today comes to the house of Mary, doesn't he? He's invited into this house. Mary's house. Think about it. Well, when I entered this house, I sat down and Mary was dutifully spooling yarn. Now, maybe that's not an image we know very well in our time, or maybe it is. I don't know if, you're, if you had a mother or a grandmother who crocheted, right? But Mary was just spooling this yarn, and I just watched her over and over take this yarn and I looked down and there was this pile of knotted yarn in front of her and she just effortlessly took this yarn and kept spooling it over and over and over until finally she got to the very end of it, tucked it into the ball of yarn and said, really pleaded, do whatever my son tells you to do. That was the prayer. And you know, I go back to that prayer over and over and over, and it is so encouraging. It is so invigorating. It was so intentional. It was so meaningful that it motivates me even now just as I tell it again. It feels f fresh like I had just had the meditation this very morning. But that wasn't the meditation I had this very morning. As I was praying in front of the Blessed Sacrament this morning before Mass, I thought, gosh, Lord, am I just going to tell this story again? Well, I just did. <laughs> but then I started praying, behold your mother. We know those words, don't we? That's what Jesus said from the cross to John. Behold your mother. But then something happened to me this morning. I started getting tempted again by the devil. I started getting distracted. I started thinking about phone calls. I started thinking about this upcoming week. I have to go to Redlands and be in meetings all day. And then finally I said, no, behold my mother. Behold my mother. It was a different prayer. It was different from what Jesus was saying, Behold your mother. I was confronting the evil one in those distractions. And I said, Behold my mother. And immediately those distractions all left. 
And those words were just resounding in my heart, beating with my heart. Behold, my mother. When you are tempted, when you fear, when anxiety takes over, say these words with me, Behold my mother. Behold my mother. Oh, the devil will flee because she is the one who crushes his head. Behold my mother. Isn't that a great prayer? So small, so simple, but that's how God is. <laughs> you know, it's so simple. We make everything so complicated, don't we? Yeah. And remember those great words the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Guadalupe, spoke to Juan Diego when he was filled with fear and anxiety about his, his uncle, Juan Bernardino. Remember, he was trying to avoid the beautiful woman. And there she was. And there she will always be for us. Even when we try to avoid her. Oh, I don't have time for the rosary. Oh, I'm too busy. I've got to go to the grocery store. Then I have to get the car washed. Then I got to go home and clean up the house. And then I got meetings all next week. Behold your mother, because there she will be. Am I not your mother? What else do you need? So my brothers and sisters, on this queenship of the Blessed Virgin Mary, you can go and look at Pope Pius XII's encyclical, Ad Celi Reginam, where he goes through and breaks down the historical understanding, the scriptural understanding, what the church fathers said about the Blessed Mother's queenship. You can read Brant Petrie's book or a number of books to better understand your relationship with the Blessed Virgin Mary. But the only way we need to understand our relationship with the Blessed Virgin Mary is that she is our mother. And she is our mother not because we are saints, but because we are sinners. And like any good mother, where will a mother be when her children are sick? Right there, by the bed, right there in the thick of your anxiety, right there in the thick of your unemployment, right there in the thick of coronavirus. Behold your mother. So please ponder those words and stand with her who crushes the head of the serpent. Do not let the serpent plant those seeds of doubt and anxiety. Behold my mother, she will crush your head over and over and over. Amen? Amen? May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Before we get into the intercessory prayers, today we have a very special person in this parish that we are going to honor in a very special way. Now, with the coronavirus, we've been kind of delayed in a lot of ways. One of the things that was delayed was our yearbook. But this year, we dedicated our yearbook to a very important benefactor for the school, a very important and generous benefactor for the parish, Daisy Thompson. We dedicated the yearbook with the hope and the anticipation that our children, all of our children, would be able to present Daisy with the yearbook for whom we dedicated this year our yearbook. Well, the enemy got into us. We had the coronavirus. Everything shut down. But today, we are able to honor in a special way Daisy Thompson. I'd like to invite Daisy to come forward and the children who will be giving Daisy the a gift of love, 
a gift of gratitude for her generosity to the school. May Almighty God bless this yearbook. May Almighty God bless this gift of gratitude for you, Daisy, and for all that you have done for our school, for all that you have done for our children, and for this parish. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Daisy, you are one of our best benefactors and most beloved parishioner. May God bless you and continue to bless you all the days of your life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Daisy. <laughs> let us now stand and pray to our Father in heaven. And let us ask for the special intercession and prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary this day as we honor her as Queen of Heaven and Earth. For the Church, the place upon earth where God sets the soles of his feet and dwells forever, that she may be filled with the glory of the Lord and shine for all to see as a beacon of hope and comfort. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the rich and the powerful, that they may set aside their desire for places of honor and turn to serve the lowliest upon the earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That we may be content to be servants, humbling ourselves in difference to others and letting God exalt us as he will. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who are dragging heavy burdens on their journey through life, that they may know the help of God and the loving assistance of his fellow travelers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may be soon be purified through the intercession of our Blessed Mother to be admitted to the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the intentions of Astrid Chan and Daisy Thompson, and also for the souls of Christina Nera, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for our own personal intentions, which we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And let us entrust all these prayers to God through the intercession of Mary, echoing the words of the angel Gabriel as we pray together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, we ask you to receive these prayers and answer us in all of our needs through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from all of my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we observe this memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring you our offerings, O Lord praying to be given strength by the humanity of Christ who offered himself to you on the cross as the unblemished oblation who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this in veneration of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God, God, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant Kathleen Thompson, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God,
May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection of mind and body and a healing remedy. Lord, be merciful. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. Having received this heavenly sacrament, we humbly pray, O Lord, that we who reverently celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary may merit to be partakers of your eternal banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. We will have the recitation of the Rosary immediately after Mass. There will be a funeral today for Mr. San Lucas. If we can keep Mr. San Lucas in our intentions for today's Rosary, that, ro that uh, funeral will begin at 1030 right here in this sanctuary. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater Miseria.